research, volunteer work, clinical experiences? What are the best extracurricular activities that you can do to maximize your chances of getting into medical school? Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the best extracurricular activities that you can do to maximize your chances of getting into medical school in Canada, the US, Europe, the Caribbean, wherever you want. Because at the end of the day, there are certain extracurricular activities that you need to have on your CV to ensure that you're a suitable candidate for medical school. But there are also certain extracurricular activities that you might not think are relevant to medical school that you can actually include in your CV to maximize your chances of getting in. So let's start with the obvious one, and that's medically relevant activities. These could be paid or volunteer experiences that include clinic or hospital work, such as medical assistants, medical scribes, uh, EMTs, uh, and so on and so forth. These are extremely important experiences because they tell the admissions team that you've actually experienced the hospital setting, the clinical setting, and you enjoyed that kind of work and you can see yourself doing that kind of work in the future as a physician. The next important element in one CV, in my opinion, is research. And that's because medicine and research go hand in hand. In fact, evidence-based medicine is the way that physicians practice medicine. And that means that they use research to back up the interventions and treatments that they use to treat patients or that public health officials use to create guidelines. As a medical student, it's extremely important that you know how to read a research paper. If you have experience writing research papers, even better. If you have publications under your name, that's a way to set yourself apart from many of the applicants. Now, I'm not saying you need a publication to get into medical school, but a publication does help you stand out. And that brings me to my next point. And that point is that you need to stand out. Yes, you should have experiences that tell the admissions team that you're a suitable candidate because you have a strong scientific background. You know that this is the right job for you and you wanna go into medicine and you want to learn. But at the end of the day, the admissions team want to see that you're human, that you have other hobbies and activities that you enjoy doing. So what do you do on the side? Do you play soccer? Do you play some other sport? Do you like to cook? Do you like to draw? The admissions team want to see your athletic side. They want to see your creative side. And what's important is that you're able to relate these activities back to medicine. For example, I used to play soccer. Let's say I was captain of my team and that promoted my leadership abilities, my communication skills, my teamwork. These are all qualities that medical students should have because at the end of the day, these are qualities that physicians should have. They should be leaders in the healthcare setting. They should be able to communicate well and work uh, collaboratively in a team. Another important aspect of your CV is your volunteer work and your community service. And this may include organizations or committees that you might be a part of. And it's important to mention these things because again, this is a great uh, way to highlight your leadership skills. If let's say you're president of an organization and your ability to work in a team, your communication skills, your time management skills. How are you able to do all of these things while maintaining a full course load while doing all of these hobbies and activities? Because the medical school curriculum is probably harder than anything you've experienced before. And the admissions team want to see that you're able to handle that workload, that you're prepping yourself to handle that workload by taking on uh, you know, a full course load and doing hobbies on the side and being part of some uh, community or some organization or some committee. So to summarize, the best experiences are medically relevant because they tell the admissions committee that you've experienced a hospital setting or a clinical setting, you enjoyed that experience, you know you want a career in medicine. These are also great experiences that you might want to mention in an interview if you were asked why medicine more on that on my next video. And if you're in your bachelor's, I strongly encourage you to get involved in research. I think it's a very, very important aspect to have. And even if you're a CGEP student, I would still encourage you to get involved in research because many CGEP students have no idea how to do research or what research entails. And you having that under your belt as a CGEP student will certainly help you stand out as an applicant. And of course, don't forget to highlight any awards and scholarships that you may have won. These are also ways to help you stand out from other candidates. 
And remember, for any activity that you include in your CPE, you have to find a way to relate that back into medicine. Talk about what you learned from that activity. Talk about what characteristics that you improved during that activity. I've also included a link to McGill's website in the description down below, which will show you a list of characteristics and keywords that McGill loves to see in uh, CVs. Now I'm not saying go and copy paste these keywords and include them in each and every one of your activities in your CV. What I'm trying to say is that you can use this list as a template to try and optimize your um, description of your activities in your CV and bring out the best aspects of your personality, how you grew from these activities, uh, what you learn from these activities and so on and so forth. So thank you all once again for your continuous support on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment or DM me on Instagram. I'll catch you on the next one.